All right, guys, we got a couple major problems here, and I guarantee you that the vast majority of Americans do not know about this. All right, take a look here at this. Okay, uh, directly here from Bloomberg, U.S. manufacturing activity shrinks by the most in three years. Here's the details on this, and this could not come at a worse time as we're trying to become more and more independent of China as we literally could be at war with China uh, and, you know, as they're potentially going to be taking over Taiwan here, a lot of military strategists and our own army thinks that they could be attacking Taiwan and we may have to defend Taiwan with the U.S.-Taiwan Relations Act. And President Biden said that we would put boots on the ground in Taiwan, our own industry is literally producing less than they have in many, many years. Take a look at this. U.S. factory activity contracted for an eighth month in June, slipping to the weakest level in more than three years as production, employment, and input prices retreated. The Institute for Supply Management Manufacturing Gauge fell to 46, the weakest going all the way back to the thick of the pandemic, May of 2020, when basically the whole country was, for the most part, closed on lockdown. And then we're at 46.9 a month earlier, according to data released here on Monday. The current stretch of readings below 50, which indicates shrinking activity, a.k.a a major recession, is the longest since the previous massive recession of 2008 and 2009. The reading was also worse than all but one estimate in a Bloomberg survey of economists. The decline in the ISM production gauge, which also fell to the lowest level since May of 2020, the pandemic, suggests demand for merchandise remains weak as well. The index of new orders contracted for a 10th straight month. Order backlogs shrank, which may help explain a pullback in the measure of manufacturing employment. The ISM gauge retreated to a three-month low at 48.1, indicates fewer producers adding to payrolls a.k.a. jobs. Many Americans continue to limit their spending on merchandise as they rotate to services and experiences, or just are spending less. Others are simply tightening their belts <clears throat> as they still high inflation takes a toll on their incomes. 11 industries, 11 industries reported shrinking activities in June led by plastics, rubber products, wood products, and textile mills. A uh, select ISM industry comments said, quote, customer orders have definitely slowed down. Our company thought the second half of 2023 would be better than the first half, but this doesn't seem to be the case. Quote, maintaining a strong order backlog continued to struggle with hiring hourly factory workers and finding qualified management candidates, higher turnover than desired, pricing is stabilized, but labor cost remains high. The slowing U.S. economy is causing the business forecast to be revised and reduced for the remainder of 2023. Customers are less inclined to purchase far in advance. Yikes. Basically, this is some of the worst of the worst data you could think of. U.S. manufacturing is completely in the toilet. We're more reliant on foreign countries now more than ever, it seems like. Boy, I'll tell you, you know... Um, if, if we do have uh, a trade war even, let's just say we don't even have an actual war um, where we have to go defend Taiwan, similar 
to what we're doing with Ukraine right now. Uh, so just think about what happened with Ukraine. And we had to cut off buying everything from Russia. Think about if something like that happened with Taiwan, even if we didn't have to put boots on the ground. Okay, What was the first thing that happened with Ukraine and Russia? The first thing that really kind of happened was we stopped buying everything from Russia. Think oil, goods, products. Most U.S., if not all, most all uh, American U.S. companies pulled out of Russia on their own accord. They basically said, hey, we don't want anything to do with Russia. This, these, these businesses made their decisions on their own. And what did Russia do? Russia just kind of took over their, their businesses. Like think about, you know, buildings and companies like McDonald's, their, their, establishes, their establishments. Russia just took them over. And just put, you know, think of the, the movie Coming to America. Uh, they, they basically turned them into McDowell's, you know, Russian versions, right? Um, but uh, so, so think of this, if this similar situation happened in China or, you know, in Taiwan with China taking them over. If we had a trade war with China, we do kind of have a little bit of a trade war going on right now. Um, remember the tariffs that Trump Put on uh, Chinese products. Uh, China actually just said here recently, remove all the tariffs and we will open our lines of communications between our militaries. Um, and that's the only way we'll do it. This is what China said, is if you remove the tariffs and the sanctions. And uh, the U.S. was kind of dumbfounded there. We were like, uh, uh, what tariffs? What sanctions? And uh, China just didn't really specify which ones. They probably mean all of them. Um, I did a previous video on that. If you if you didn't see that here, um, I'll, I'll link you to that video here. But um, yeah, the problem with that is that those sanctions of raising the prices on goods actually ended up raising the prices on American consumers because it raised the prices on products coming into the U.S., uh, I'll go into detail. Uh, I'll link you to the video on why and how that happened here. But um, the bigger problem here is that U.S. manufacturing is going down, down, down. And the problem with this is, is one of the problems with this is, is that wages are going up, up, up. Americans want to make more money. It's just kind of natural here. I mean, the U.S., Minimum wage is seven dollars twenty five cents an hour. Who wants to work for that? Does anybody even work for that anymore? Um, so the problem here is that uh, you know you look at like the two largest uh, employers in the United States, Walmart and Amazon. Their average hourly wage that they hire people for is around fifteen dollars an hour, according to what they say. Uh, this is about their average hourly hiring wage. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less, but this is about their average, okay? Um, so nobody really works for $7.25 an hour. Nobody can really afford to live on that anyways. A lot of people can't even afford to live on $15 an hour. But what this means here is that um, more and more companies are getting their products manufactured out of the United States. They're getting them manufactured in other countries. So this is a significant problem for the United States because if we run into a World War II type of situation where we have to produce more and more stuff here in the United States, think of when we switch the factories over to produce all those you know materials that we needed here. Let's go back to the headline here. Yeah, here's the, the headline here. U.S. manufacturing activity shrinks by the most in three years. Uh, and that goes back to the pandemic. Okay, this we're basically back to pandemic area manufacturing. <laughs> uh, U.S. manufacturing slump deepens. Deepens. Factory gate price pressures are subdued. Um, we're basically back to our country being closed down type of factory production, which is abysmal, guys, abysmal. Um, our country is, is in, in a massive re recession, whether people want to admit it or not.
Yeah, so the U.S. has got to step it up, man, if we want to be made in America here. Um, it seems like we're going in the opposite direction. Yeah, so uh, I can't force America to do it. I can only report to you guys what's going on here. Most people don't know about this here. So uh, I'm your source, letting you guys know what's going on here in our country and around the world. Happy 4th of July. Let me know what you guys are doing here, celebrating our independence. Uh, and that's exactly what we need. We need independence, especially from other countries like China. Uh, seems like uh, we need to do a little bit better job of that. Did you know about this? Did you know about our manufacturing uh, woes here? Yeah, so let me know your thoughts. I'll keep you up to date here. If you haven't yet, click the subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos like this. And make sure to like and share these videos here with others so that they know about this. It also helps our channel grow. Here's some videos you should watch next. The White House just sent out an urgent message here in this video and click here to see what Russia and Saudi Arabia just did to Americans' pocketbooks. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.